Hello, my name is Ken Wilson. I'm going to be showing you an Excel worksheet I programmed for bank reconciliations. Just to let you know, this video isn't a tutorial if you don't already know how to complete a bank rec. The video is more for persons who perform bank reconciliations regularly, but of course anyone can watch. So the bank reconciliation is often a dreaded and avoided task because most persons approach is a rather tedious one. They would take their bank statement entries and line by line they would compare them with their general ledger or their own transactions. If they were to take one entry, they would look at the value and when they find the corresponding value, they would probably just highlight both entries on each statement, saying that they agree. And they will continue to do this instead until they get to the bottom of the statement or until everything or almost everything is highlighted. The ones that you can highlight or don't agree, you would then put them on a bank reconciliation form to see if the transaction balance or if the difference is zero. Oftentimes this doesn't actually happen and anyone who's done bank reconciliations often knows this doesn't happen the first try and it can be very frustrating. Sometimes the eyes see what they want so we see 67 instead of 76 that's actually there and our fingers are no better. We type 1 instead of 2 because the keys are just too close. And finding these little tiny errors can be quite needles in a haystack. But you don't have to be frustrated if you're using this particular sheet. Let me show you how it works. So after I've pasted my new entries into the bank statement and the GL tabs, I can actually right click and just click reconcile. So Excel is actually going to go through these entries for me and it's going to use its logic to decide which matches and which doesn't. Let me show you how it works. So I'm going to click reconcile it's going to ask me if I want to clear my previous transactions. For the first time, you usually click yes. Now Excel has stopped and it's saying that, okay, it's found a problem that it can't solve it's on its own. So it's asking for help. So it's saying bank statement line 13 could not be reconciled because the appearances of $162.97 on the bank reconciliation form and the bank statement are unequal. Reconcile this entry manually and then retry the automatic reconciliation. Actually, what I forgot to do is let me go to Google. I'm going to start a timer to see exactly how quickly I could do this. So let me reset. I'm going to start again. You can add a minute to it. I know I already started. So I'm going to press OK. So what it has done is it's filtered it by this particular value that I mentioned before. And if I look on my bank rec form, you'll see that that value is there twice. So basically, Excel is asking me, well, what is this particular line for? By looking at this, I'm going to say that this is probably an error because I don't think this value is going to be there twice on the same day. So what I want to do is I want to convert this to a GL adjustment. So I can actually right click any one of these and click convert. And you see my form is still zero. I just moved it from the deposit and transit section to the GL adjustment section. So I'm going back to my bank statement and I'm going to change the status to deposit and transit. And I'm going to change this to true because I'm going to adjust my bank rec. And when I change to true, you'll see we now have a difference. So I need to delete this particular line here. Okay, so I'm going to right click again and choose reconcile. Do we want to clear? No, this time because I already started and this is the same bank rec. So no. So Excel is doing all this for me. And it's just looping through all the transactions. Another problem it can't solve. So this time GL line 38 may be matched with bank lines 224 and 225. Excel now filter these transactions, manually reconcile line 38 and then retry the reconciliation. So you can see that the bank seems to have made an error here. This particular check number is here twice, so the bank has reversed it. So we use the word reconcile to say that the entries in the bank and the GL agree. I use the word offset to show that something has been reversed. So I'm just going to set these two to offset. Right click, reconcile again. Nope. Okay, so Excel has done its first loot. And if I go to my reconciliation summary, it's saying that it's 88% done. So most of the lines actually have a status. 
and it has been reflected on the bike rack form. This was the original balance I've had, and this is the changes to it. So I can see the progress that has been made. And you can see that this was blank before, but now all the adjustments that need to be made are already here. It's removed all those standing checks that were on the current bank statement. It's also removed the deposit and transit that it could match. So now I need to match the ones that are left manually. So I need to find all the ones that don't have a status. Here. Actually, I can use my match form. So right click. Let's do that first. Open my match form. And what the match form does is it will pull up all of the transactions on the bank statement and the GL that don't already have a status. So now I can just highlight between the two and set which ones that match. So let's look at for the offset ones first. So you can see this one here says credit reversal. So because of this keyword reversal, there will be an entry that's the positive value of this here. So it's from smallest to lowest. So it should be to the top. And that's it there. So because these particular two are highlighted, it will show you the sum of everything that's highlighted here. Oh, sorry, here, because this is the bank. So now that I know these two balanced for offset, I can choose the status of offset, and I click match. So when I click match, it's going to change the status for this line 127 and line 125. Let me unclick to show you what I mean. So if I filter by line, one, two, five, and one, two, seven. You see that I don't have a status. So when I do this in my match form, it's going to set the status for me and it's going to take it off the list. So again, I'm going to highlight these and choose offset and it's going to disappear. So now I could do the same thing on my GL side. Now a particular general or GL clerk knows to use the word offset when at, when it's exactly that. So it makes it a bit easier for me. So I just highlight all the ones that are offset and they should have a difference of zero. Offset that one, it's another one. Another one. Okay, that looks like all of them. And you see the difference is zero. So I click match. And this is a reversal. So there should be another entry here as well. 166. There it is. That's also offset. Okay, so this first one on the bank statement, vendor 805 wire. So Excel could not match this. Now, because I do this regular, I know that the invoice charges and the bank charges are separate. So I could just look for vendor 805. So there's the invoice. And there's the wire charges. Now there's actual difference here. So there's probably a mistake made in one of these. So this one is now a difference. So I choose, I choose match. Then the 558. I don't see that on this list. So this looks to be omitted. Payroll on the 15th. Payroll on the 15th. There's a difference of one. Match. Then the 199. Vendor 119 wire invoice. This one balances, so this one is reconciled. Hold mail fee, don't see that. Omitted refund. So all the ones, all POS ones would be credit card stuff. So there is a MasterCard. A refund has to be with a payment. You have to pay first before you can refund. So if I look for something that's MasterCard payment, oh, that's Visa, that one. So the difference is 2646. And that's that. So that balances match. Refund for discover. Payment for discover. That's on the same side. So this is offset. Refund for Visa. 35350. That's that. Reconciled. Taxes, don't see that. Fees, no fees. Interest, that matches. There's a difference. Match. Deposit, returns. That probably goes with that. That's probably why I didn't enter it because it's returned. Deposit. Okay, so that seems to be everything that I can do now that matches. 
Okay, so I can exit this. Now I'm going to filter again with the things that don't have a status. So this deposit here is September 1st. So I'm guessing this is a deposit and transfer, but there's a difference why Excel didn't pick it up. So 227456, slight difference there. So I'm going to go in my difference column, and the difference would be the bank statement amount minus the form amount. Enter. Okay, so ten dollars fifty cents. Just going to paste that there to make sure it doesn't change. And this is the positive chance of the difference. Okay, so this one here, that's a very big deposit eighteenth. Let's look at the match form again. Ah, I missed that one. So this and that and there's a difference. So match those okay close that again filter once with no status okay so this is omitted that was omitted so all these I can set to omitted just gonna copy that okay so go on my GL side now to with blank status. Okay, the, all these are checks I didn't clear, so these are outstanding checks or wires. And these would be deposits in transit. I can check my reconciliation summary to make sure that everything, okay, so everything has a status now. But the bank form is not completely updated. So right click, reconcile. No. So it's just going through to see the ones that have changed. And it says done. So these are in blue, so you can just actually go to see what matches. So I can see this one here is matched with line 66. So if I click, it's just going to go to that line. And I can do the reverse as well, if necessary. Okay, so if I go to the summary, we're now 100% everywhere. So we're done. So if I check the time now, 10 minutes, it's not too bad. Okay, so when I can actually check to make sure it makes sense. So it's saying that the difference between the old balance and new balance is this here, 102,415. How do I check if that's correct? I go to the bank statement. And you just highlight all the entries. So 102.415.75. The same thing. Check your GL to make sure everything's captured. Nine seven eight nine eight seven nine. And that's the same value there. So we're done. So these will be all the changes you have to make for this particular month, these adjustments, these are differences, omitted transactions, etc. These are the checks that didn't clear that we'll probably clear later and the deposits for next month. Okay, I see something here, these two charges that were from July but didn't clear the bank. So this is probably an error too, so I'm gonna reverse those. And this one as well. And that's it. So we did a bank rack in less than 10 minutes. If you like this spread correctly, like a copy, my link should be below. Thanks for watching.